Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Eugene Simos. I'm working as a pre-sales engineer uh, in EMEA region, uh, specialized in security analytics uh, called the gate integration. And uh, during this uh, uh, presentation, I will show you actually how easy it is to deploy uh, an agent, uh, let's say to several servers, uh, without really spending so much time, the whole uh, configuration will be done by using, let's say, uh, one file that it has been generated by a Terraform script. And then uh, the configuration of the servers and the um, Ansible uh, setup, it will be uh, run uh, automatically. And uh, at the end, we will have here actually the number of uh, uh, the servers that they should be configured with uh, uh, the agent and they will uh, give us back uh, the logs. So uh, in order actually to do these things, uh, there is a Terraform script that it has been already created. So this Terraform script actually doesn't do uh, something really magic. It is just uh, following all the um, prescriptions that we have in the, the Oracle OCI Cloud about what are the steps that you have to uh, perform. And then at the end of these um, deployments, the, there is one, uh, let's say, file that it will be created because at this stage we have already deployed the agent. And the only thing that we will do here, we will take the agent key and then we will add some additional logic into this, uh, uh, let's say, artifact. So this cell script, it will perform all the steps that a normal user has to perform manually. So this uh, uh, generated script, it will check about the correct Java version. And if it needed, it will download the Java version to the target server. So we are call, uh, talking about Linux servers here, okay? Uh, then as you can see here, there is a section that it will be used to download as well, the RPM distribution of uh, the agent to uh, the local host. And then there is actually one part of uh, this generated uh, script. As you can see here, we have actually uh, for this installation, the management agent install key has been already gathered by the Terraform script, according to what we have already deployed. And, uh, this kind of installation will perform um, with the Ansible execution automatically. We will try to work or to install actually the agent to a series of servers that we have already created in our compartment. So uh, we have here nearly, I will be saying uh, 39 servers. What I want to do, it is simply to install the agent. So I will launch actually my YAML file, which will do two actions, okay? It will uh, create an Oracle user. Uh, it will give pseudo rights to this user, and then it will copy uh, the installation file to end every and each server, and then it will launch actually the installation of the agent. So as you can see here, okay, uh, the servers, they have been already provisioned. Okay, uh, some of these, they are still the provisioning, but uh, some others they are just updated. So as you see here, slowly by slowly, okay, the servers they will start to come. Uh, Ansible is just reporting me uh, that everything's okay. And uh, well, we don't have uh, to be in hurry. Okay, let's wait a couple of seconds still. And you will see that here you are. You have everything as it should be. 
So uh, thanks, uh, uh, thank uh, for uh, this participation. And um, on the next videos, you will see actually how you can uh, take advantage of um, the automation uh, in order, let's say, to uh, capture logs now uh, from these servers and uh, how you can uh, mount them automatically, let's say, to the logging analytics. Mm -hmm.